I think most of you guys have ever had this to me. We go right to this, you know, we can we can we can put some pressure on them. I'm always like, oh it'll be conservative, we'll be not get much, and then see if I can open it and I scale it up um, if need be. Um, so for this one, see Aaron, can you do it first? Oh my god, right here, sir. Thanks. So Aaron's gonna lock up his guard. Alright. We're starting in the same low base, um, the wide base. Either at some point, because I know I'm going to stand up, or like from the get-go, I'm going to try to have active toe. So right now I have in the bottom of my foot, that's not really active. I'm going to try to be here. I'm still going to try to have a low base, but my, um, I'm going to try to be on my toes. Because I know I'm going to be mobile, I know I'm going to pop up, right? Either get there at some point, or you could just, this could be your default, whatever you prefer. Um, it's a good place to be, to put stress on your toes, it is what it is, right? So hands in the armpit. Right here, a good pin, okay? So before we were splitting and trying to open, let's say we can't do that. We're gonna stand up now. You can do it one leg at a time, you can pop up um, two of them at once, right? I'm gonna have some real downward pressure. Bottom person, this hypothetical that we're dealing with is, is someone who's really insisting on this. They're trying to keep this. So bottom person, you can try to keep this, okay? I, I encourage you to open up your guard and develop an open guard, so when you lose control or posture, you're ready to go, but this is also very realistic. So I can go here and here. Now, I'm okay for a moment because I'm pinning his upper body. It might make it harder for him to start like grabbing my legs and going for easy sweeps and shit or coming underneath. That's okay. But at some point I want to stagger. That's what I want to get the split. One comes behind, other one staggers. This one's hard for him to grab, this one's far away. Now, hands go to the hips again. We stand and try to break from there. Now we have this, it's like a standing version for combat base. Our knees are already um, splitting this guard right here, okay? So there's a lot of different finishes we can go for. Here's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna stuff this and staple with the opposite side. This is like a butterfly guard that we're gonna try to render useless by getting the heel to the butt. The other one's stapling the leg here. Our, hand, our weight goes to our hands, so we have a free hips here. At this point, we're gonna scroll out you like a big back step to come here. Bottom person will get their frames and leave them pose again. Excellent. Oh, love it. Here, posture, look it up. Here, if I get to my toes, great. You can pop up all at once too if you're good enough to do it. You can try to come here. One knee comes behind, the other one steps back. That gets our brain. This one that's close to the hamstring is going to pressure in. For this particular pass, I'm stuffing this inside, hips forward here. We could do work from here if we're in a fight. This is solid, all right? We're gonna float now. Our weight, my weight's on my hands. My lower body is kind of light. I'm gonna step back, you can go to sprawling hard or big back step, but I'm still connected at the hips. Slide down, going to cross side. And recomposes. Excellent, sir. I gotta make sure. Oof, I gotta get that away. He's about to overload me. Looking up, hands in the armpits, right? I'm gonna stand, split the guard. Lower back is still doing most of that work. Here, stuff this, staple. Hips forward. Here. It is not a basic way of doing it, and there's a lot of other things we can do. I could have broken this and like leg drag. Um, I could have moved, stepped over, knee cut like we were doing. There's a lot of correct finishes. Just want you guys to try that one. Thank you. Uh, can I use you, sir? So I'll hang around and watch. Awesome, thank you. So, hands in the armpits, low base. We're gonna stand now, keeping a pin here, because they're gonna be reaching for our legs at this point. We have a second or two before we gotta get in position. One knee behind the butt, other one steps, maybe we're able to open up from there, all right? So this particular pass, we're gonna stuff this one in. The one that's connected to his hamstring is gonna to continue to staple to it. Hips forward here. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm heavy on my hips, now I'm gonna get light on my hips. I'm gonna put my weight on my hands so my hips are free. There's a lot of things you can do from here. Here's the easiest one. Back step, hip to hip, 
of the cross site. They have frames and recomposes. Beautiful. Into the full guard. Make sure my hands are my own. Make sure the guy with a really good full guard like that doesn't get super high up in the back. That's a bad situation for me. I'm gonna stand. One knee behind the butt, other one steps. Here. And sorry, pressing the hamstring. This one that's on my hood. Pop it. And then stuff it. Hip pressure here. This one makes it hard for them to get up. Alright, then we're gonna get light. We have a lot of things you can do from here. We can slide this through. For a leg weave, go to dope mount. We can like leg pummel, kick out, or straight to mount. What we're gonna do now, I think is the easiest one off the bat. We just sprawl. Comes with a, a backdoor escape. <laughs> 